Hello everyone, welcome to Sanam's Kitchen. Today I have very interesting spinach and cheese stromboli recipe. So let's check what we need. We need pizza dough and I have the link posted on the screen if you like to know how I made my pizza dough. And we have a spinach. Make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to chop this roughly. So this will give me like about two cups of chopped spinach. Garlic as per your taste, salt as per your taste, olive oil about one teaspoon, mozzarella cheese and sesame seeds to garnish. Now heat a pan and when pan is hot add one teaspoon of oil and when the oil is just warm enough add garlic paste. We want to saute it uh, lightly so the raw flavor of garlic goes away and add spinach. You can also use frozen spinach. Now add some salt and we want to cook this on a low flame until all the water evaporates. So it has reduced and all the water has been evaporated. So I'm going to let this cool and while that's happening I'm going to roll out the pizza dough into about 9 to 10 inch almost round and make sure it's like an oval shape a little bit. So roll out as big as you can. So when the filling is completely cooled, I'm going to put it on one end. Put some shredded mozzarella cheese. Now we are going to roll it uh, almost about like three times and tuck it very tightly and make sure the seam is uh, facing down so it doesn't pop up while you're baking it. Now cut off the side uh, dough like about one inch off and seal the seam so the, uh, the filling doesn't come out. And we're going to make it like a loaf. Now uh, just cut some slits so that the air uh, have an escape now place it on the baking sheet and I'm going to brush some olive oil on the bread um, if you eat eggs you can use a egg wash uh, but the main reason is to that it gets the golden color the crust gets golden while it's baking so that's why we add the olive oil now add some sesame seeds on top so it it sticks to the uh, to the stromboli Now we are going to bake this in the oven. My oven is preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to bake this for about 20 minutes or until the crust is nice and golden. So as you can see it's uh, been cooking for like 10 minutes now and the crust is getting slightly golden brown but it, it has 10 more minutes to go. So after about 18 to 19 minutes, here my stromboli is ready. 
and see how golden it looks and it tastes delicious so i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time thank you for watching